what's up everybody? Captain Kobe coming back at you. Had a little uh, hiatus. It gets about uh, 110, 115 degrees in this apparatus room in the summer, so I don't do that much cooking. And I have a fabulous, very beautiful guest with me today. My mom, uh, her name is Brenda. Yes. So today we are making shrimp and okra gumbo, yes. right? So listen, it's the first cold front of the season came through yesterday. Yes. And I promise you all the gumbo pots are rattling all through Louisiana right now. That's kind of how it goes. First cold front comes through, everybody's making the gumbo. So today we decided to make shrimp and okra gumbo. All right. All right, everyone. This is what we need. Everything you're gonna need to make shrimp and okra gumbo. And uh, what I'm gonna have my mom do is just tell them what they need. Make sure we go everything that we need and let them know how we're gonna do it. Okay. We're gonna do this kind of like in three parts. Uh, we're gonna show you how to smother okra and this can be done in okra season and uh, frozen and ready for whenever you make gumbo. Right. And <clears throat> then at, we'll, we'll smother it down and show you how to do it. Then after that, we'll make a roux. And then after I'll that- I'll make the roux. You make the roux. I gotta make the roux. And then after that, we'll start adding all the ingredients. But for this uh, video, we're gonna need roux, which is gonna be oil and flour yeah i want to touch on that because this uh i tell everybody i really like the coconut oil this luana coconut oil is the best one for me it's clean it cooks well it's not the extra version it does not taste like coconut right and uh i got some gold metal flour because listen can't make a gold metal meal without gold metal flour right i like it that's phenomenal that's right what so else we need ma these are the two things you're going to be making with your roux, roux yes okay and then we'll also need, after you make your roux, you need your onions and your bell pepper. Right. And later on, we're gonna have, um, we're gonna have our shrimp. Of course, we're gonna have our okra smothered down and we'll season it all up and have a wonderful okra gumbo. What you have right here? This is a secret ingredient. Oh, secret ingredient. Any kind, anytime you're here down in South Louisiana, our bases are just so great. And what it is, it's different bases that you can buy. Chicken base, uh, beef base, but this today we're gonna use a lobster base and it's made by Better Than Bouillon. Anytime that you cook anything, if you add just a little teaspoon to it, it just really, Enhanced really gives flavor, it a, right. an enhanced flavor and it knocks it out of the ballpark, to tell you the truth. So. That's the secret ingredient. So we're gonna start making the roux and you're gonna do equal amount of oil and flour. Well, before we get started on that, I have an addition to this as well, okay? And what I have right here, my mom was trying to grab this from me a while ago. She's trying to take my secret ingredient and my addition to that, trying to steal my thunder. That ain't happening. <laughs> anyway, we have some crab meat. This is the claw meat. Uh, it does not have any pinches or anything on it. It's just the meat itself. And I think just really brings out the flavor. It adds that much flavor more to the shrimp, especially with the okra that's coming in there too. So we're gonna add a little bit of uh, crab uh, claw on there and we don't have much. We only have about eight ounces, right? Well, all right, listen, I'm gonna make the roux. She's gonna smother down the okra. Yes. Stay tuned. Be coming back, make it happen. Okay, to begin, you start smothering down your uh, okra. We're gonna put a little bit of oil. You don't need to put a whole bunch in this pot. You just need enough to start. So I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be about three tablespoons. Just let that melt. We're gonna use it at the bottom so it's not gonna stick. Everybody makes theirs a little bit different. This is how we do ours. Once this is gonna melt down and your pot is gonna get a little heated, then we'll drop the okra and start to smother it down. Now we're ready to add the okra. 
you notice at the bottom, it's warm. When you cook an okra, you want to just get the slime off of it. You can either do it on the top of your stove or you can put it in the oven. A lot of people do it in the oven. We put it on the top of the old fashioned way. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this down, get the slime off, and then we'll make our gumbo from there. All right, everybody, listen. While my mom is smothering down at open, what we wanna do is make our roux. But before you make your roux, you need to have all your bell peppers and your onions cut up. That way, when you're ready to kind of stop the cooking process of the roux, we're just gonna dump all that in there. It's gonna help cook it a little bit. It's gonna stop the cooking process of the roux. If you want to hear me, believe me with your black jaws on. If you want to hear me, I don't want to see the more guys on. Well, where are you old guys on? I said, well, where are the more guys on? When you're cooking down your okra, you're gonna see how it becomes very, very slimy. At this point, you can add your onions and tomatoes if you like. Some people like it with tomatoes, some people don't. Today, we're gonna add the onions. You ready for your onions? Yes. All right. Our sous chef, Kobe, Captain Kobe is adding the onions. But you can see how very slimy it is. If you're cooking it on top of the stove, you have to stir it pretty often. If you put it in the oven, all you have to do is put your oil, put your okra, you could put your onions, cover it, put it in your oven for about 350 and you're gonna cook it about four hours. It's gonna get brown, but you'll only have to stir it about once every hour. And at the very end, it will not be slimy and it will be brown. But like I said, a lot of people at this time, they'll put tomatoes in it, but this is, this is the way that we make it. You make your okra gumbo, whichever way you want. You don't want to season it at this time. All right, everybody, we're gonna get kicked off on this roux right quick. And uh, a lot of people have been asking me, Captain Kobe, we know you like the coconut oil. How you know how much coconut oil to put in comparison to the flour that you put in your root? And I'm gonna show you how to do it right here. Okay? So we could do one cup, and we know we always make our stuff one to one, right? Equal, equal parts. So what I do is I just push it in here. A little extra. One cup of coconut oil. That's simple. So, for shrimp and okra gumbo, you don't really put that much roux. Uh, some people put even less than me. Uh, but we're gonna only do like a cup and a half of this roux and a cup and a half of flour. We don't want a, we don't want a big roux. We don't want a thick roux. We don't want a heavy roux because what happens when you cook down that okra and you put it in here, it's gonna thicken all that up for you anyway. So you don't want to have it too, too thick especially with your okra and your roux. So we're gonna not put that much roux when we make it. Cup. Half. Bam. When you're cooking down your okra, smothering down your okra, you're gonna notice that at the very bottom of the pot, it's gonna start to turn brown. That's what we need to have at this point. If you get nervous that you think that it's gonna burn at the bottom, just add you about a half a cup of water. You don't have to, but if, you, if you're unsure of it, go ahead, it'll cook down anyway. But this is, this is what you should be seeing. At, when you're cooking. And if you notice, you still have a little bit of slime. It's cooking down, and by the time it's finished, it's gonna be brown, and it won't be slimy at all. Alright, we're getting kind of close. Can you get a shot in here? 
right? You know, I like my, my roof pretty dark, but today we're not gonna go quite that dark. We don't need to, okay? So what I wanna do is, I told y'all, we don't really need a lot of roof for your gumbo. So what we're really trying to achieve is two heaping spoonfuls of this spoon to kind of make that happen right here. We're looking probably about three. We may take a little bit out, but we don't have that thick of a. All right, we took a little bit of roux out. It's about how much we got. If you want to take in there, look, it's really not that much. And you can always add more later if you want to. What we're going to do is take our fire off, okay? And drop these onions and bell peppers in there. And what that's going to do is help cook those onions and bell peppers down. Help sweat them out a little bit. And also stop this cooking process of this roux. is dump this water in here, all right? Get this, start cooking down. I'm gonna let this cook for one hour, one hour minimum. I'm gonna put all the goodness in there. All right. Okay, we've been cooking this for about two and a half, almost three hours on top of the stove. You notice it's not slimy and it's got that dark color. Uh, I did have to add some water every now and then because if you notice, on the sides, I got really dark. So all you have to do at that time is add a little bit of water and it takes all that out. So we are ready, this is done. At this point, you can either put this, let it cool off and put it in the freezer for whenever you want to do an okra gumbo, or you can do it right now, ready to go, or half and half, whichever one you want to do. All right. And while that's happening, our, our, our roux's been cooking for about, about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna let it go about another 20 minutes. And uh, what happens when you let your mama come on your show? She thinks she's the boss all the time. And you know what? The boss forgot to say what makes everything happen over here on Captain Corbis Cajun cooking. It's Captain Corbis Cajun seasoning. We didn't season anything yet, Captain. Anyway, we're gonna season our shrimp up. Uh, we're gonna start with a little mustard. Not too much. And what we have right here is about four pounds of shrimp. But one thing we will do is does this pretty heavy. Okay. We'll mix it up and see how it all looks together. Go with a little bit more mustard. See what we got left in there. I know we took the bottom. Huh? Guess we're not putting no more. We're just gonna go with that. All right. All right. And one extra thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this crab meat. It smells so lovely. Get a little seasoning in that. Too. Right? And I got about four pounds of shrimp here because I like a lot of shrimp on my shrimp and over gumbo. All right, we ready. We've been cooking about an hour here. Uh, our gumbo has a little bit of thickness to it, but it's pretty loose. I like it. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and cook down this, uh, or dump in our cooked down okra and see what we got. Come on, mom, let's dump some in here. You ready? Ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna see what you got. One more. Good. Let's see. Yeah, that's nice. All right. So listen, the okra that we cook down right here too, you can use that as a side if you want to make rice and gravy and cook this down. That we're going to have a little bit left over from our, uh, what we cook down right here. And uh, you can put one more in there. Perfect. Well, you can put, put it in the freezer for later. You can put it in the freezer 
save it for later and have it as a side. I love this cooked down okra just like that. You? Okra and tomatoes? No tomatoes. All right, we're gonna put in the secret ingredient here. This is a lobster base. It's just gonna give a lot, a lot of body to your gumbo. You wanna put this in before you season your gumbo. And from here, then you'll add whatever seasoning you want, but you have to taste it first. Because most bases have a lot of salt, a lot of sodium. All right, while well, my mama keeps cooking down some more okra right here, what we're gonna do is, uh, this is probably cooked for about an hour and a half. Let that okra kind of cook in there. We should put her bouillon stuff in there too. So now what we're gonna do is put our shrimp and our crab meat and see what flavors we get out of it. Come on, mom, come here. All right. It's okay if it's a little thick. Cause that shrimp's gonna release a little water too. Okay. Let this cook down. A lot of people think you put it in for five minutes, but listen, you have to cook this, I'm gonna say 30 minutes. Let me tell you why. Those flavors have to come together. You just can't drop it in there and all of a sudden it's magically the shrimp flavor all over it. You have to let it cook together. Kept the Kobe way anyway. Right, mom? <laughs> Guess who don't do that? All right, let's see how we looking. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm talking about. Let's see this. Look at that. Look how thick that is. That's awesome. And as you can see, this kind of, it's got a little loose. That shrimp and watered out. It's cooked down just right. It's not rubbery. Okay. It's good. Now, one final thing that we're going to need is a taste test. Right? That's right. And look, I did take a little bit, I did cheat a little bit, and I took some and I put them in here. And let me tell you something. When you're seasoning things and you want to know if you have enough pepper or enough salt, you got to taste this cool. You can't taste it hot. Sometimes that the heat of the, the fire heat from the gumbo gives you a, a, a sensation that it's, it's peppered enough, but when it kind of cools a little bit and you're eating, you're like, man, this needs some more pepper. So you let this cool, you taste it, and you see what you got, if you gotta add or do anything. So let's see if we need to add anything. Yeah. Saucy phenomenal. Oh, I like <laughs> Listen, I already tasted that cheese, and I'm gonna let y'all know this thing is unbelievable, all right? So hang tight, we we'll to make our plates, and ready to eat. The only thing that's missing is the rice that's and the bowl. Good. Ready? I'm ready. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, we're gonna do a uh, Cajun word of the day. A lot of people can say, Kobe, we, we miss the Cajun word of the day. Sometimes we get so caught up in cooking that we forget. So I'm gonna try to do a Cajun word of the day every day or every time we make a video. And um, I don't know what you think. I think we should use uh, shrimp. Shrimp. Chevret. Chevret. Okay, yes. so. Uh, Cajun word of the day is chevret, which is a Cajun French word for shrimp. shrimp. And also, this is called gumbo filet, which is okra. You can also buy the filet, which is from the sassafras root, but okra in French is gumbo filet. Avec des chevret. Y'all enjoy. Well, well, Truth, I think everybody already started eating. They can't wait. Um, I'm not waiting. <laughs> let's see how we we already had a taste test. It was absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. let's see how we're doing today. 
just the right amount of okra, just the right amount of shrimp and crab, I think. This is uh, truly phenomenal. Keep it on. Keep it on. Hey, listen, if you didn't know, we could be uh, kind of intimate over here at the firehouse. We got a candlelight dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, huh? That's right. Hey, listen, please cook this, try this, want me eat sorry. this. It's truly phenomenal. You want to be served. That's right. And like we always say, keep cooking. And we'll see you in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Got some g -string. That's right. Get up, you.